I watched the ballad of songbirds and snakes last night. Hunger Games, the ballad of songbirds and snakes last night. After 10 years, I was a 12 year old girl in the cinemas. More than 10 years, I guess. When did the first few movies come out? Anyway, I was a child in the cinemas yesterday. I dressed up as Lucy Gray with a white top and a frilly pink skirt and I wore my Hunger Games pin. A little story about why wearing this pin was so important to me. So when the first few movies came out, the pin wasn't that famous and you couldn't buy it just about anywhere and the places that you could get it, it was very expensive so I couldn't do that. So my friend made pins for us out of clay and then dried it and then painted it and we wore clay pins to Mockingjay. And this time, after all these years, I wore the actual pin to the movie and it meant so much. If you've read the book, you know the storyline. But you've not read the book. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is an origin story of the villain of the Hunger Games trilogy, which is President Snow. So you see how a boy, Coriolanus Snow, became the evil President Snow. And as per original stories, I think this is as good as it gets. Because you sympathize with Snow and then you curse yourself for doing that because it's President Snow. It's as good as an original story gets. The emotions are so raw and real. His story is amazing. So Zane Collins has written magic with this prequel. I could, I ne did not read this book for a very long time because I thought it's a prequel. It's gonna be bad, but it wasn't. It's it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. The certain references to the real Hunger Games series, the main Hunger Games series. And they're fabulous. This prequel ties the whole series together so well. It's, it's what we needed after these 10, 12, 15 years to tie it all together. It is a very well-made movie. The storyline flows. It's not cut abruptly as it often happens in a lot of book to movie adaptations because they try to cut out certain parts and then keep the story intact. Here, they've not left out any important part from the book. They've condensed a lot of it. They've brought a few scenes together, merged maybe a scene or two into one. But it's working. You don't feel like they're doing injustice to the book. It still feels as accurate to the book as it can be. All, all the important scenes are there. All the important scenes are there. The dialogues, the acting, the scenes, they flow together. The actors have done justice. Rachel Zegler as Lucy Gray is amazing. The songs are brought to life. The songs that we read in the book are brought to life in the movie and it's amazing. Peter Dinklage as Dean Highbottom is... I don't think there could have been anyone better. Snow is played so well, Dr. Gowl is played so well. It, the characters are themselves and you can, you can see that. Tigress, such a small role, right? But Tigress took my heart away. She was, she was so impactful in every scene there was. Grandmam was Grandmam. If you loved the Hunger Games, if you've not even read the books, if you loved the movies, the Hunger Games, watch this one and you will not be disappointed because it feels like being transported back to what 2010, 10, 12 because the vibes are the same the production is of that level Every, it, it, you can see that this is not taken as just a prequel this is taken seriously as a movie in itself and all the people in the cinema that were there I could tell that these are all fans who watched the original movies and are now coming to see this. I'm so happy that I'm still as big a fan of this series as I was back then because it deserves it. I went with my friend and she said this one thing about Hunger Games that we love it so much today and we're still as mad today because that story was relevant when we first read it. It's relevant today and it's going to be relevant in the future. And I don't think there's a more accurate description of the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games is 
a fandom which is always going to be special to me. I'm probably going to go watch it again because the first time you're just absorbing it and you're just soaking it in. The second time I'm going to reel in the emotion more and it's just it's so good. I'm getting flashbacks of the scenes and it's so good. Go watch it. Go watch it. Go watch it. <laughs> Shout out to all my friends who had to deal with my fan girling over this. All the people who were forced to read the books, all the people who were forced to watch the trailers and I cried in front of them while watching the trailers. You guys are great friends. <laughs>